we go. We should be getting underway here shortly. And we are off to the races. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, this lobby's insane. <laughs> this lobby's absolutely insane. We are going to be watching from Bart's POV. Uh, if you want to catch any of the other POVs, I think everyone except for Bradamite and Hudson. Hudson does have a Twitch channel, but he said in the lobby chat that he doesn't intend to stream this game. So if you want to check out the other POVs, I'm sure that they're around uh, with their respective uh, Twitch channels. But uh, if you want to check out uh, from Bart's point of view, uh, stick around right here. So it looks like Bradamite, the red player, is up first. And uh, we will be taking a peek at the bonuses. The only other game for this round that uh, that I previously did a cast for uh, did actually end up turning into a bonus game, uh, even though these settings probably shouldn't be bonus settings. So we'll we'll go over the bonuses just in case uh, it turns into that. We do see Brady take a card in the Southern OS Day bonus. <clears throat> so uh, Bradamite spawns kind of in the middle-ish of the board. A little bit on the west coast, uh, not really too much of anything in the southern bonus. Um, does have some stuff in the north. Uh, Open Tanyao is going second as the green player. Um, and the, the Blizzard configuration is interesting. That, that plus three that has the stable portal in it um, is now only a two territory plus three as opposed to normally being a three territory plus three. And Open could have taken the plus four bonus in the top right. Uh, if he really wanted to, but doesn't look like uh, he'll be going for it. Decides to fortify one troop from one portal to another after taking his card. Uh, Bart, our POV playing as yellow, is in the third seat. And uh, Bart is looking at his options here. His spawn seems pretty good. He's a little light in the north, but that's mainly because it looks like Pete has taken most of the northern territory. Oh yeah, Pete is pretty much only up in the north end of this board. The only other two spots that Pete has um, are over in the northeast corner, uh, which is uh, which is wild. He'll, he'll have to figure out how to spread out, which the stable portals will help him spread out a little bit, but not, you know, not too much. Uh, unstable portals normally help you uh, spread out a little bit more than stable portals do. Uh, so we do see Hudson in the fourth seat decide to go for a bonus. He's guarding that plus four. Uh, with two fours and a five. So solid hold on that plus four there. Pete is up. Uh, Pete has other things to worry about. Normally he would be the bonus breaker in this situation, but he is just simply not set up to break that bonus. Um, so instead, it looks like he's working on a bonus of, uh, of his own. Hits a Leona three stack um, to maneuver toward the, uh, uh, the Panama bonus. Now, I know that that is Venezuela, Colombia up there, but th the Brazil advanced map calls that the Panama bonus. So the, the geography is wrong on the game's part for this, not mine. Uh, Leona, last but not least, is going sixth, decides to get a little bit of revenge herself, and knocks out a three stack of Pete's. Alrighty, so we already have a little bit of conflict going on between Pete and Leona. And uh, the game uh, is off to a very spicy start with Hudson uh, staking a claim uh, and making a play for a bonus, which so far he has not been broken. Um, so as these players make their second turn, we'll quickly go over the bonuses. Uh, we have a plus three in Sudeste over on the East Coast. And then Leste is your other plus three also on the East Coast, just a little bit uh, further north from Sudeste. Then you have two plus fours, Nordeste which uh, is what Bart and Open are in. And then Centro, which is the uh, bonus that Hudson hit, uh, Hornet has claimed. Uh, the plus seven is all the way at the southern end of the map called Sul. Then you have a plus eight of Panama, which Pete appears to be attempting to be going for, but I doubt he'll be allowed to hold that or take it at all. Um, and then a plus nine of Norte, um, kind of in the middle of the board, but also on the northern end. And then a big plus 10 of Oeste. Um, which is essentially Peru with a little bit of some of the inland territories in the Brazil continent. 
All right, let's shut these bonuses down and see uh, if anyone has broken Hudson. So far, Hudson is holding it. Bradamite took an easy uh, card, it looks like, in uh, in the bonus that Pete pretty much spawned into. I know Pete normally isn't a bonus taker, but just based off of his spawn, it's hard for me not to refer to it as Pete's bonus. Um, so Open took a card off the portal there that uh, Leona had slammed the, the Pete stack on earlier. And now Bart is up. Does Bart decide to break? It looks like he's going to manual. Gets bad dice on the manual. Loses two. Is not going to attempt that roll again. Already got his card. Removed Hudson from the pocket and soul behind the blizzard. And wants to leave a three stack there. Fortifies out of uh, what may end up being Pete's bonus. Or the, the, the Panama bonus that he spawned into. Hudson gets to hold the plus four. And uh, collects seven for this turn. And didn't lose a single troop. Only Bart, it looked like, uh, attempted to break. Um, no one else bothered to even try for it. So um, Hudson is probably the favorite for this game. Able to hold a bonus and is also fourth in the turn order. Um, and is now moving off the bonus, it looks like. So it, it he appears... So it looks like Hudson just wanted to hold that for one turn. So he is going to uh, allow himself to be broken there. Uh, Pete decided to card skip, it looks like. Pete um, opted to just not take a card. Uh, so that uh, is an interesting play from Pete. Added one over to his only exterior position. Um, and then the rest, uh, he, he spread out a little bit up in, up on the north end there. Um, I'm pretty sure we see Leona take a card. I don't think we see anyone else skip. We see a fist bump come out from Leona, and Leona does indeed take a card. Bradamite is up. Who decides uh, to break? Someone, so one of these people should break here. Bradamite doesn't want to break. He takes another card up in the Panama bonus. Loses a troop on that, though. Uh, Bradamite and Bart are on 11 territories. So no one's quite on 12, but those two are the closest. And then Pete and Leona looking a little bit weak troop-wise and um, territory-wise. Six territories apiece and roughly 20 troops. Tanyao decided to be the one to break. Break, broke and then went right back. Uh, Bart continues to spread out in sore in the in the soul bonus uh, and take cards there and grab various pockets there. Bart also uh, has a little bit of luck. Has a set on three. Doesn't matter too much since uh, since it's just the first round of trades that we're about to get into. But that that plus two. Um, isn't too shabby. It's always nice to get a plus two in, in the early round of trades. They, they uh, don't tend to matter as much during the later trades. Hudson takes a card, does not retake his, bo does not retake his bonus, loses a troop, and stacks on the portal in Centro. Pete continues to card skip. Very interesting from Pete. Um, I'm not sure if... Um, I'm not sure what Pete is going for here. He is going to have to take cards at some point. Um, I I don't I uh I I don't really see how you win or get points unless he's just playing for placement at this point. Um so, I mean second place does give you 10 points if he doesn't get any bounties, so maybe that's what he's going for. Uh Leona decides to take a card. Fortifies one troop into the Sudeste bonus. And we're back to Brady entering the fourth round of turns. So because we have someone skipping cards, the first round of trades are are going to decrease a little bit, right? Um... 
We're going to have 4, 6, 8, 10, and then Leona's going to take the 12. And then the second round of trades is going to be kicked off by the 15 set instead of the 20 set. So uh, having a card skipper in here means that the second round of trades is going to look a little bit similar to a five-round game. A five-player game, I should say. Um, obviously, um, <laughs> plenty of differences and, and nuances there, but just you know, just broad strokes, it's, it's going to look a little bit like that. Uh, Bart grabs a card, fortifies right back to that nice little corner in, in sewer that he has there. And on the previous turn, I missed this. Open Tanya went ahead and took the kill guard position on Bart, uh, which makes sense. Um, Tanya's natural prey is Bart, so I'm sure Tanya would much rather have that uh, kill guard position as opposed to let anyone else take it. Uh, Hudson takes a card in Soul and fortifies a few troops over into uh, the Leste plus three uh, bonus with that portal there. And Pete continues to card skip. Yeah, Pete got Marin's spawn and fifth position. Yeah, you're 100% right, Frog. Yeah, Pete spawned pretty much all in one spot. Uh, but unlike Marin, Pete is opting for the card skip play. But I suppose it's also because it's different tournaments, right? It looks like Pete is, is trying to get as high a placement as he can, just making himself not... Um, app, you know, he's he's the least um appealing kill on the board right now because he's only got one card. Uh, but so, uh, and unlike the World Cup, this tournament, you you get points for placement. Um, so that's probably also a factor in Marin and Pete's play styles. Is just these are just different tournaments. Leona continues to migrate north with that OSD stack. Bradamite decides to card skip, quickly puts his troops on, and ends his turn. We now have two card skippers. So at this level of play, what we'll likely see is everyone card skip. We may not see that, but I have seen that before. It is when the first player in the turn order card skips in the hopes for a better uh, first round trade. Typically, everyone wants to card skip. Yeah, Tanya is doing the same thing. Tanya also card skipping. Yeah, all these players are wise to what's going on. Bart is also going to card skip for sure. Oh, maybe not. I spoke too soon. Bart says, okay, that's fine. I'll take the first trade. Now Hudson's up, adds one over to the stable portal position, or over to two stable portal positions, loses it uh, in the process of taking a card. Bart and Hudson on five. Pete still on one. Does Pete continue his card skip strategy? I think the answer is yes, but he might surprise us. Yeah, Pete continues to card skip. All in on that, on the play for the second point, or the second place placement points, excuse me. Uh, Leona takes a card. So yeah, the uh, the turn or the uh, the set order here is scuffed, and Leona actually attacks twice, moves off the portal uh, over in the southern end of the OSD bonus over there. That's correct. He's been card skipping since turn two. Yep. Uh, Pete's very first turn, he hit a Leona three, and then Leona's first turn, uh, she hit a Pete three. And ever since then, Pete has been card skipping. So yeah, the uh, this this first round of trades are really going to be interesting here because Bart is going to take the four, Hudson takes the six, Leona the eight, um, Brady gets the ten, 
or Bradamite gets the 10, and then Open uh, will get the 12. Pete doesn't get the 15, because he's still on 1. So whoever trades in next uh, would be getting the, the 15, which might end up being Bart, so we'll see here. So Bart sets in for 4. Oh, and Open did decide to take the uh, plus 3 that appears to have been uh, gifted to him. Bart moves into Centro, loses a troop. Does he want to break Open's bonus? Decides not to. Draws a cannon. Not sure if he has another set on three. Hudson sets in for six. So as far as troop count goes, Leona is the weakest on troop count, but Leona's about to trade. Uh, so she should be okay. Uh, but Pete will quickly become the uh, the weakest in terms of troop count uh, just because all these other players are going to be setting uh, while, while he won't be. Hudson spending time figuring out how he wants to spread his troops out and place them. Decides to take his card on the stable portal in the south, fortifies off of it. And Bart checked his cards during that turn. He does. Bart does not have a set on three. Pete adds everything to his Blizzard pocket spot, which is actually uh, kill guarded by Bart. Um, I don't believe Leona seven actually touches that Pete ten in the north there. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think those territories touch. Pete's one card might save someone with no set on four. Yeah, it might. Yep. Leona trades in for eight. Puts her on 35. Yep. And because of the blizzard, yeah, one point kill guard by Bart. Because of the blizzard, um, along the dotted lines that go that goes all the way down to the bonus that Tanya had a moment ago, but Leona just broke. Um, uh, Leona is also kill guarding Bart, but it's a soft kill guard because Pete is back there as well. But if if either Bart or Leona controlled the position that Leona currently has, as well as the position that Bart currently has, that would be a that would also you could you could one you can one point kill guard both those territories with with the Blizzard configuration that we have here. <clears throat> All right, Bradamite sets for ten, grabs a card on the portal in the plus seven. Where does he fortify that back to? Fortifies it over to his 12 stack, making it a 14. Open's going to set in for 12. And that completes the first round of trades. The next set is worth 15. So troop count after the first round of trades. Uh, Bradamite in the lead with 50 troops. Tied for second is Open and Hudson on 44. And then um, it looks like Bart is on 37. Leona's going to be on 38. And Pete's going to be on 36. So fourth, fifth, and sixth uh, players in, in terms of troop count. All roughly, all roughly the same. And uh, so the card skip ended up working out for Bradamite, at least for now. <clears throat> Bart takes a card, fortifies over, making a seven stack. Bart has no set on four. Rough to see. However, 
because of the card skipping that's been going on, he he may have a chance to survive it, but we'll see. Maybe not. And yeah, Bart is not strong enough to uh, take out anyone without a set. I, well, really, no one is. The sets just aren't big enough. And uh, and they're growing slowly. Hudson takes a card. Fortifies right back. Pete continues to card skip. Leona. Leona th spending a little bit of time in draft. Figuring out how to use her troops this turn. Decides to spread them out a little bit. Where's the third one go? Decides to put an Oeste behind that blizzard. Takes a card on the portal. No. Saying thanks. It looks like Leona is trying to trade cards with someone there. If I had to guess, I, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not really sure what Leona was trying to communicate there. Uh, takes a card, moves off of uh, the position that was kind of kill guarding Bart and Pete, but not really because both Bart and Pete are back there. She wants someone to guard her from purple. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that that makes sense. Yeah, so Bradamite, uh takes a card, and it looks like he's going to take Leona up on that. Now we have open. This game's going to get real. It's already a, a bit of a messy game, but it's it's just going to get more and more interesting as we keep going. <clears throat> Bart takes a card, takes his turn as fast as he can, fortifies right back. Doesn't want people to know that he didn't have a set on four, but all these players, they, they know. <laughs> they know. Hudson sets in for 15. So as far as uh, positions goes, uh, Pete is softly kill guarded by Bart up in the top. Open is kill guarded a little bit by Pete and Bart over in the Nordeste bonus. Bart is kill guarded by Open down in the south and is also kill guarded by Leona and Hudson also down in the south. Um, Leona is kill guarded by uh, kind of a combination of Pete, Bart, and Bradamite uh, over in Oeste. Um, and then Hudson is kill guarded over... Well, not really, actually. There's a portal that gets you in there, so that's not really a kill guard. Um, so, interesting positioning going on here. Pete, once again, card skips. Um, Hudson, uh, it, it looks like he wanted to stack uh, a large 20 stack all the way up in the Panama bonus up in the north end. Uh, Leona trades in for 20. Will Bradamite or Open, probably more specifically Open, because Open has a, a good kill guard, or, well, how does Open get the Bart kill, right? Do, will Open or, or Bradamite have enough to, uh, wow, Leona removes um, the guard that she had on Bart over in the Southern bonus. Bradamite sets in for 25. Does Bradamite have enough to smash through Open Tanya 6 to get to all of Bart? The uh, the 5 stack that he's adding to now can go up and to the left and hit the 5. The 13 stack can go up and hit the 5. 23 stack can go north and hit the 191. 13 stack would need to hit the 7, the 1. No, it looks like it looks like uh, Bradamite is going for the open kill. 
twelve to six. Looks like he intends to chain um open into Bart. Yeah. Gets a solid kill on open there. Trades for thirty. Had to hit a little bit of Pete to get to the Nord Este position. Uh and should have enough for Bart. This should be enough to kill Bart as well. He is running out of time. He is going to need to be quick here. Bart is saying oops, probably because of the time factor. He gets this riskiest roll. Does that first. Doesn't... I don't think he can quite get to that one. Feeds Bart a little bit. Yeah. Be between... Yeah, he... he would, just took a little bit too long placing his troops there. Bart survives to set in for 40. Or sorry. Was that 40? I don't think it was 40. It was like 30 something. Might be might have been the 35 actually. My <laughs> my mistake. Uh but there's really no bounties on the table in terms of someone he can kill that would set him in turn. Uh Bradamite would set him in turn, but Bart doesn't have the troops to kill Brady. Bradamite. Um does he just uh does he just take whatever kill he can get which I think the only kill he could get is Pete but Pete is not worth killing cuz Pete's only on one card so Bart um luckily though Bart now has a set on 3 so yeah Bart traded for 35 a moment ago um and I think it's safe to say that he will be trading on 3 more than likely Yeah, 35. Thank you. Hudson attacks twice, one of which was to break the Nordesti bonus that Bradamite ended up taking in the process of killing Open Tanya and, and attempting the kill on Bart. Hudson makes a big 39 stack on the stable portal in Centro. Pete continues to add to that large stack behind Bart and is now fortifying troops. Um, maybe in some effort to consolidate. Leona hits up Bradamite a little bit, is requesting that Hudson move out of the Nordesti bonus and decides to grab the bonus that Tanya previously attempted to hold. I think that's the Sudeste bonus. Now we're back to Bradamite. So Bradamite and Bart are on 50 or so, 54, 55 troops. Hudson's on 67, Leona's on 62, Pete on 38. All players except Pete have three cards right now. Bradamite attacks west and fortifies east. Bart is going to trade here. Trades for 40. So Bart almost got knocked out, but uh, survived a no set on four uh, to get a set on three. Puts everything on the stable portal there, attacks with Leona territory, fortifies back, and has a nice troop lead on 97 troops. Hudson on 69 total troops for the troop count. We'll see if he sets or if he loses a troop. But uh, all these players are very focused. We don't see anyone dab for... Hudson 69. Oh, Leona is dabbing for the 69 troops for Hudson. Okay, so it looks like Hudson is attempting the Bradamite kill here. It does not look like he has it. He's going to need Immaculate Dice here. I don't think he has it. Did he just feed uh, the Bradamite kill to Pete? Could Pete come back into this game? 
I think we I think we see Pete attempt it. Wow, Pete gets immaculate dice there. Only loses one on Bradamite six. And now, just like that, Pete is in this game with a bounty that sets him in. 45 troops for Pete puts him on 85. Now, catapulted him into second place on troops. Yeah, I don't... I, I'm not... Uh, it's interesting that Hudson attempted the kill on Bradamite there. I... I don't think he had it, even even with uh, better dice. But um, he he obviously saw something I didn't see. Pete is going for the Hudson kill, and probably has it. Oh yeah, Pete has this. Some solid pathing from Pete, <laughs> and then the the card skipper, the guy who's been card skipping since turn two, just takes his second bounty. Sets in for 50. Does he have the Leona kill as well? I think he has it in terms of troops, but he may not have it in terms of clock. Yeah. Actually, didn't quite have it in terms of troops. At least, at least the way he spread out there. So Leona has a tricky choice here. Does Leona go to four cards? Because if Leona goes to four cards, Bart's only play is to attempt the Leona kill. Uh, but if Leona card skips, Pete is just going to kill her anyway. Pete can easily kill her on... should be able to kill her on three. So it looks like Leona is going to opt to hit Pete... Maybe this is uh, in protest to the card skipping strategy that w ended up working out really well for Pete this game. Third place and two bounties is uh, even if you know, assuming he gets uh, third, uh, is still uh, not too shabby for you know for having card skipped since turn two. Bart slams a Pete stack but doesn't get it, and is, is going to use his remaining troops to go after Leona. Leona is throwing up the fist bump, and uh, Bart is sharing some crocodile tears there. I think Bart knows that uh, his best path for, for game is to do what he's doing right now. And yeah, just like that, he's got enough for the Leona bounty. Leona had no set on four. Uh, Bart trades in for 55. Puts enough to finish off Pete up in the north corner. Does he have enough to finish off Pete off of Brazil? Making sure he sliders as best he can everywhere. Doesn't quite have enough to get to that eight stack that's all the way at the bottom there. But uh, is wisely choosing to not open it. Um, Pete sets in, and we now have a 1v1 between Pete and Bart. Sets in for 60 on 4. Bart is going to need a trade on 3, I believe. Pete is just going to do everything he can to clean up as much of Bart as possible. Um, but it's also possible that Pete just has the win here. Bart does not have a set on 3, so I think Pete is going to end up winning this game. Yeah, Pete doesn't quite have enough troops to bag it this turn, but since Bart has no trade on three, um, and also really no remaining stacks of troops, there's very little that Bart can do in order to uh, take his fourth card and survive long enough to use it. I'm going to see if these players are going to be up for a post-game chat. As, uh, as we wrap up here. Yep, and just like that, Pete finishes the game up.
So what a wild game. The card skipper ends up taking the W there. Congratulations to all the players and or or GG's to all the players and congratulations to Pete for taking that. What a what a game. Hey, there he is. Hey, How's Mike. it going? That was wild. <laughs> I don't know what happened. There. That was interesting. I don't think I've ever seen card skipping pay off so well. I don't you even have. know why you haven't do it in the first place. Why do you start to do it in the first place? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess 